number one, all probiotics are the same. Not true. The World Health Organization defines probiotics as live microorganisms mm-hmm. that, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit on the host. So, pretty vague, could be anything really. Now, because the term probiotic is so broad, it's good to us to understand what is actually involved in the probiotic. It's like if you were buying a puppy, you would want to know which breed or what characteristics that puppy has before you put your money where your mouth is. Now, we are good to you here. Bring in the puppy prop. Here he is, well done. Just walking him up, furious. So we have a wealth of diversity of microorganisms in our body. For example, as a general rule of fun, thumb, lactobacilli, fun and thumb, thumb, fun and thumb, tend to live in the small intestine, and their properties include the secretion of digestive enzymes to help break down food. Whereas bifidobacteria tend to live in the large intestine, and amongst other things, help us go to the toilet regularly. Yeah, and within these there are many different species and within the species there are loads of different strains and the different strains have been shown to have different effects it's kind of like russian dolls they're sort of like bits within bits and yeah. nice analogy there thanks um which is why it's worth doing your research into what each strain does because it, it does get a bit complicated 